No Valentines for Katie by Fran Manushkin, illustrated by Tammy Lyon. Chapter One. Counting Hearts. It was a cold, gray day, but Katie was happy. It was Valentine's Day. At school, Miss Winkle said, "Let's start the day with a Valentine math puzzle. Take out your crayons and draw a big heart. Then try to guess how many candy hearts will fit inside of it." Katie drew a big red heart. Then she looked at the tiny candy hearts. One said, "Puppy love." Another said, "Melt my heart." I think this heart will hold twelve candies. Katie decided, but when she filled up the heart, it held twenty. Boy, did I guess wrong! Katie said. I love these tiny hearts," she said, smiling. She couldn't stop reading them. She read Cloud Nine and Soulmate. Miss Winkle said, "Now print your name on a piece of paper and put it in the Valentine box." Then the class went out for recess. Chapter Two, Making Valentines. When they came back, Miss Winkle said, "Now the real fun starts. Take out a piece of paper from the Valentine box. You will make a Valentine for the person that you pick," said Miss Winkle. Katie picked Barry, the new boy. As Katie began painting, Miss Winkle said, "Each Valentine should say something nice about the person." Katie whispered to Jojo, "I wonder who made me a Valentine. I can't wait to see what it says about me." Ella read her card first. "This Valentine is for Pedro. I like you because." You are a great goalie. When we play soccer, you know how to use your head. Thanks, Pedro said. Charlotte read her Valentine. Jojo, I like you because you jump rope so fast, and when I forget to bring my lunch, you share yours with me. Thank you, said Jojo, beaming. Chapter Three, A Valentine for Katie. One by one, the students read their valentines, but nobody read one for Katie. Katie's eyes filled with tears. Someone got my name, she said, but I guess they couldn't think of anything nice to say. That's why I didn't get a card. Katie said, "Miss Winkle, are you sure you put your name into the box?" Oh no! Katie groaned. I forgot. I was so busy reading my candy hearts. Well, said Miss Winkle, since Katie did not get a card. Will someone come up to the board and write something nice about her? I will," said Barry, the new boy. He wrote, "I think Katie is very funny, and her glasses are just like mine." Katie smiled. "Thank you," she said. Now Barry looked sad. "I didn't get a card." He said, "Katie jumped up. I got your name," she said. "Barry, I don't know you very well, but I think you are funny. Plus, you have the same glasses as me." Barry couldn't stop.
stop smiling. Katie, we said the same things. After school, Katie said, Barry, can you walk home with us? Sure, he agreed. Do you promise to be funny? I always am, said Katie. And they laughed together all the way home. Awesome job, boys and girls. We have finished the reading. Now we are going to take the RA test. For a Valentine math puzzle, the students had to guess how many blank A candies fit inside a heart drawing. Cars were sold on Valentine's Day. C. Cups of punch were needed for the party. D. Valentine's, each one of them would get. Good job, boys and girls. Yes, it is letter A. Candies fit inside a heart drawing. A. Candies fit inside a heart drawing. Whose name did Katie pick from the Valentine box? A. Pedro's. B. Jojo, her best friends. C. Barry, the new boys. D. Ellis. Good job. C. she realized she had forgotten to blank. A. Make a snack for the Valentine party. B. Put her name into the Valentine box. C. Send her grandma a Valentine. D. Bring her Valentines to school. Valentine box. Katie smiled and said thank you when Barry blank A wrote something nice about her on the board. B chose her to be his partner on the nature hike. C share his Valentine cupcake with her. D Gave her a flower from his garden. A. Wrote something nice about her on the board. What did Barry ask Katie before going home after school? A. Will you be my valentine? B. Are you a good baseball player? C. Do you promise to be funny? D. Can you come over to play? C. Do you promise to be funny? I'm going to rate the book a four stars because I think the book was awesome. Good job, boys and girls. We got a hundred.